It's Thursday, it's a how-to Thursday. We're gonna teach you some valuable skills about maintaining your bike, particularly your chain. Today we're gonna to be using a product called Tri-Flow to lubricate your chain and make sure it has maximum lifetime and maximum performance as you use it. So your chain, as you can see down here, gets used a lot when you bike ride and it collects grease and dust, and it also stretches out as you ride. And so it's important to keep it lubricated so it keeps shifting well and just maintain its lifetime. Now chains are supposed to be replaced every like 1,500 miles, um, but with Tri-Flow you can make sure you maximize that. Good morning. So we're gonna stop and flip the bike over and do a little tutorial on Hi, on uh, lubricating the chain. So we're gonna flip the bike. Okay, and now we have access to the uh, chain here. And we're just gonna kinda go along like this and add the tri-flow, okay? So once we get it all now that we got it all set up, we're just gonna drip some on there. We're just gonna drip a bunch on there like that. We really wanna make sure we get all those linkages. If you had the time, you could drop it off uh, on each link. But we, we're just gonna squeeze the bottle here. And now see if we're, we're just squeezing the bottle and we're just making sure that it's going on all the linkages. So, we just keep going by, squeezing the bottle, dropping it. And as it goes around, it's gonna spread everywhere on some other gear. Good morning! Good morning! So now you can see the chain is kinda wet, which is great. You can also add it to these cogs here. I usually like to do this. I'm good. No, I'm good. Okay. WD? Huh? WD, you said? No, I said you have what you need. Oh, yeah, I got everything. Thank you. That's so nice of you. <laughs> I thought he said WD. Now, you don't want to put WD on a bike. That's a degreaser, and that's going to take everything that we have on here off. We want it nice and greased. So, now that we got that, we're going to wipe it off. We've got to wipe it off a little bit so that it uh, doesn't just collect everything. So we're just gonna kind of sham it like that. And this, now this is the, the found bandana from earlier. And uh, it's working quite well to help get that grease off. We want it, we want it nice and dry. We want it nice and dry, so we could just spin it around like that. And then in here, you kind of want to wipe off these cogs. I usually get that grease off the cogs there. And that, that kind of helps. And then sometimes I'll put the, the lube on this little spring here. There's a spring in there, and there's a spring up front that you can lubricate also. And that's I find that to be helpful for the derailleur, so. Yep. Um, that's kind of a quick job there. Let's go finish up the segment ASAP. You know, I was thinking today some random facts. I was thinking a random fact would be uh, that the, the sun is 93 million miles away. And the, uh, the moon is like 186,000 miles away. Just a random fact. So it takes like light to get, you know, it takes the light a couple minutes to get from there to here. Regardless, beautiful day out here. Good morning, rider! You got everything? Yeah, I do, thank you. Everyone is so nice out here. I love it. It's just the city of the vine! These how-to videos are just getting longer and longer. I apologize for that, you know? But regardless, okay. 
So yeah, so these these objects out in space are so far away. And yet maybe someday we'll land a man on the sun. I mean, that would be a feat, you know, and to have a hospitable population on the sun. And tap that resource, you know? Sun harvesting. I think, I think that could be the next big thing to go for. So, I mean, Earth is gonna blow up. It's gonna get too hot, why not go to the sun?